Android 9, it's finally available for Galaxy Note 9, Exynos variant here, this, uh, this phone. It has new features uh, like uh, this one, full screen gestures, back, home, multitasking. Uh, also, you'll get Dolby Atmos, not for your general sound, but also for gaming. You have this animated lock screen with these super cool videos. Uh, well, you will have to pay for many of them, but that's another uh, dis discussion. Also, you will get many other features, but mainly these are the most ex expected uh, features for your Galaxy Note 9 and uh, Android 9. Well, on my YouTube channel, you will have... Uh, a video you will have instructions how to install the latest stable version of Android 9 on your Galaxy Note 9. Uh, if you are wondering how it's working this uh, this new operating system, it has lag or not, well I'm really impressed with it for the first time. Uh, in my opinion it's a better experience than uh, with the Android 8 no lag, very responsive, and I believe Samsung did a very good job with this. This is uh, the animated lock screen, it's very cool and very interesting, I, I will use it for now. This is a free animated lock screen anyway. Um, you'll have a lot of features here, as you can see here, if you want to open uh, and unlock your phone with your S Pen, you can do that. Uh, as I remember, you can uh, also on Android 8. I don't know in this moment. Anyway, let's, uh, let's move on. Uh, first of all, we will uh, take a brief look at this new operating system, uh, the new features and short um, I will present my opinion in the end. Also, as I said, you will get a full tutorial on how, how to install this on your device. This is how it looks, this is, these are the shortcuts. Um, if you want, by the way, this uh, brightness level uh, here, when you drag uh, your uh, notification panel, all you have to do is to tap that show on top and that's it, very simple, you will have it, you will have it always there now as you can see it's working flawlessly no lag and I'm really glad with this uh, Android 9 on my uh, Galaxy Note 9 Exynos now okay this is the multitasking uh, system this is how it looks um, you can close these uh, windows just swipe up if you want to uh, select one just tap on it or swipe down it's the same uh, this is this these are the settings as you can see here and uh, I believe you know by now um, it's a these are Samsung did some changes here as you can see every important settings they are put on categories and they are separated it looks interesting and it's very easy for you to choose them. Okay, basic uh, dialer, that's it. Sound. You can do a lot of settings. I don't want to enter uh, in this because it will be a very long, long uh, video. This is the camera, you have some some uh, beautiful changes here, you have all the modes here, you just slide them, you have panorama, you have pro mode, you have live focus, photo, video, slow motion and hyperlapse. In the upper side of the screen you have shortcuts for uh, settings with every mode that you select. It's very easy to use it and uh, very simple. Let's go to settings and let's discuss about that Dolby Atmos. As you can see here, you have the possibility to activate Dolby Atmos for your sound. It will be a very rich and super nice sound uh, activated 
activate it, it's very, very nice. Also, a new feature, you have Dolby Atmos for gaming and you'll get a realistic sound and uh, a super rich sound in games. Uh, very nice, good job Sam Samsung. Also, another feature, I believe you know it by now, is the separate app sound, just activate it and you will have uh, the possibility, for example, to listen music via Bluetooth to your speaker and in the same time you can choose any app from your phone and you can select the audio source, for example, to phone or to Bluetooth connection. Uh, it's very, very interesting and unique. I didn't um, find this uh, feature on any other smartphone. Anyway, let's go to the most anticipated feature the full screen gestures you'll find them in display settings here in navigation bar, bar and you can choose full screen gestures basically you will swipe for back home and multitasking something like this as you can see in the animation here just like this swipe swipe with your finger and you will get um, those shortcuts you can choose either to have some uh, some bars there as gesture hints or you can deactivate them. I will deactivate those bars because it's more interesting to have a nice clean screen. Uh, this uh, is how they work. Very nice, flawlessly. Uh, I didn't have any problem with them and I really like uh, these uh, gestures they are very interesting again samsung did a very good job with these uh, gestures anyway overall this is the android 9 the latest stable and official version also don't forget you have um, uh, a tutorial on my youtube channel on how to install it on your device Overall, it's a great operating system. I really like it. Zero lag. Um, it, it's working flawlessly again. I'm repeating. Uh, anyway, I will test it and I will post more videos. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks.